Hi there. I'm Andrew McElrath. I'm a certified biofield tuner. And this is a physics-based energy healing modality that uses the coherent input of tuning forks to realign and support the flow of energy in individuals, their bodies. Uh, it can be worked with to align energy and projects and intentions, as well as spaces. And I wanted to do a session specifically addressing the experience of persecution and in a in a context that would help us resolve or dissolve some of that within our individual and collective experience that has a big charge for a lot of people in a lot of ways and i just felt like it was appropriate at this time to address that and uh, work with it um, a couple things to keep in mind with biofuel tuning while a group distance offering in this way or a recording is intended to include everyone who will ever listen to it regardless whenever that is um, there are some considerations that i want to kind of go over quickly if this was a one-on-one -on -one session there are uh, circumstances or dynamics that we would um, ha express a great deal of caution or or not engage a session with. So those would include um, women that are pregnant, uh, folks that are experiencing uh, terminal or chronic illness, including cancer, folks with um, electronic devices, including older versions of pacemakers, folks that are um, chronically or um, 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 medically considered obese, end of life, uh, if there are concussions that have occurred in the past three to six months um, and heavy metal toxicity. So I'm going to put a link down below in the description of the details related to those from the Biofield Tuning website, just so folks are aware. Um, if you're using heavy machinery or driving, I'm going to ask that you listen to this after you're done with that. Um, so the first thing that we're going to do is check in with everybody's electromagnetic system and just get everyone nice and grounded. Uh, your earth star lives below your feet and is basically the negative terminal of the battery that's your body. And then we'll move up to the sun star and get that central flow going. And then we're gonna meet this experience of persecution um, within the context of the four directions. And we just see what shows up as we work together and you listen to this recording, I'm going to invite everyone to settle on into their space, really get in touch with what they're noticing in their body. Some folks are real sensitive and pick up all, all kinds of information. Uh, some folks don't. Uh, but you're going to hear me breathe a lot. I may invite you to breathe as we do this today or whenever you're listening to this. And um, yeah, so at this moment, I'm working with this amazing piece of black tourmaline. It's a highly protective stone. And uh, what, what I'm gonna do now is place, um, in, invite your intention and my intention to dissolve patterns of persecution in our collective and individual experience as this beautiful bee flies around me. So here we go. Okay, folks. So the first thing we're gonna do is anchor in everybody's earth star and as I'm recording this, I'm on the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in southern North Carolina, and it is a beautiful day. So it's kind of a nice contrast to the heaviness that we may encounter today. So let's see what's going on with everybody, okay? Here we go. I'm noticing a feeling of retreat, of overwhelm. So anywhere in your space right now where you're pulling back in whatever way to feel safe, I want to witness for you that that it may be a very appropriate response and to honor that. And also know that it's okay to come back and circle back with the world when you're ready. What can sometimes happen with folks when they're going through a lot of stuff, we tend to retreat and pull back into our space. 
So I'm just going to invite everyone to let yourself expand and ground and know that the earth supports you and that you have the resources around you to allow yourself to expand and that we're all in a state of change we exist in a state of change and what is in front of you now will probably evolve and that's the good news folks well, so i'm going to go in here with a 144 and a crystal and let's see if we can make some extra space down here And I think it's a pretty common experience to feel knocked around a little bit by all kinds of things. So let's make some space for the stability and anchoring in the potential of your body and your life. I'm going to invite everyone to remember that you have, you are a generator of frequency. You emit a signal. And even in the midst of all kinds of wild intensity, that you have the capacity to resonate a sense of peace and groundedness. And just notice what's showing up for you. That's not a trick question, okay? I'm hearing lots of birds, right? I don't know if you can hear things outside of where you're at. Noticing your environment. So we're just going to really slowly move this down, taking our time. No fast moves. Real gentle. And as I'm moving this down, I'm noticing that for some of you, just being still like this makes some space for emotion to come up. I'm just going to invite you to notice that. It's okay to be still. It's okay to allow this to come up or drop down. <laughs> Here we go. Whew. And what I notice when I connect with people's earth stars are sometimes that there's a lot of energy that sort of jumps on to our signal, particularly if we're grounding a lot of people. So I invite everyone to receive this tuning for themselves. even though we're connecting in the collective for this. And it, to just witness for everyone, it's not your job to hold on to the amount of energy that you may be holding for other people or the world. That many hands make light work. And if we translate that capacity into our hearts, it's many hearts that come together can shift a lot. There we go. And just what shows up here is a really beautiful sense of compassion And in many ways, what we're going to work with here, that that compassion can be an antidote for a cycle or cycles that have been on this planet a very long time.
if you want to imagine that feeling if you've ever sat or laid on the grass or on the earth and just extended your arms and your legs out and just let your your spine literally make contact with the earth if you've ever seen a dog roll around have their back roll around on the earth makes me think of that kind of activity I'm going to invite everyone to allow this connection with the earth to be a safe thing, a supportive thing, a supportive relationship. Nice. Great. Okay, folks, we're going to move upstairs above your crown chakra, and this is your sun star. What we're doing here is we're generating or inviting this flow uh, of energy in your body. And it is sometimes referred to as the central channel. So let's see what's going on upstairs for y'all. Oof. Okay. It's a little, that was a little rough to connect with here. So uh, the first thing I notice is it's almost like uh, the axis of the collective is kind of on its side and if you track or pay attention to the conversation around the magnetic or electromagnetic field around the earth and the, the migration of our poles that feels like it's part of that yeah <laughs> okay so there's a little uh, to the side here let's uh, work with uh, 144 and a crystal to see if we can make space for the axis of our central channel to adjust to these shifts right because the shifts that are occurring are on such a uh, massive scale potentially not just on our planet but within our galaxy and um, that the potentially the the uh, possibility is that we can move with that we can allow that change to um, integrate into our being okay and it it really does feel like a a, a shift of orientation if you will right or a, an evolution of orientation and as we do this, folks, if you want to imagine, you're breathing through the top of your head. So let's see what's going on here. There we go. And what I'm noticing up here is it's almost like a new conversation with the light that we are receiving, the energy that we're receiving from our uh, galactic input, allowing a new conversation with the stars to happen. A new conversation in the electrical field of our environment. <sighs> and folks, I'm going to go in here with a 528 and a crystal together. So this is going to make some interesting sounds here and let's defragment or uh, disperse any I almost want to say pollution or distortion up here 
we are in an environment of such a dramatic amount of uh, electromagnetic energy and uh, probably on a scale our bodies uh, have not ever encountered and so um, that's like a big ask for our bodies to evolve into that and it's okay I believe that we have the capacity, or I'm going to invite everyone to feel into that we have the collective capacity to evolve in that way. And to also have um, some good maintenance, some really good housekeeping with that. Okay, grounding's a great way to do that, getting your feet literally on the ground or whatever way you want to do that. And if you notice that you're holding your breath, I'm going to invite you to shift that up. Okay. It's really fun to do this outside. Because the, the birds are chatty about it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I invite everyone to make some space for their electromagnetic field to expand and open up. There you go. Woo. And ideally, this flow is just happening. There's no um, forcing or pushing. It's as if you're literally in a stream of light. And you're opening up. And we're opening up for that light to just move through us and into us. Permeating every cell, every organ every part of our being. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, folks, so we are going to meet the information uh we're going to start on the east side and uh let's just see what shows up i, n I never have any idea what's going to show up we just kind of go with it so let's see what's what's going on over here <sighs> okay so the f the first thing that shows up over here is just the heaviness of this the heaviness of the feeling of persecution, a sense of punishment, Oof. A, a stuckness. There's a lot of energy in the throat here. Ugh. So everyone, I'm just going to invite you all to breathe, okay? It's not your job to hold on to anywhere in your lineage where... Communication or expression has been limited, stymied anywhere where there's actually trauma associated with the throat and the neck. And you can imagine that there are lots of spots where that may have occurred. Ooh, okay. Okay. 
when I work with folks, you know, there's energy of persecution that can show up in any area of the body. It frequently, it can show up on the backside of the throat or the throat in general. So I'm going to go in here with a, a 528 and a crystal and let's just unblock this whole situation here, okay? And what it, it comes to mind is that's one of the ways that the compassion or the empathy uh, gets blocked and in environments of persecution is that the truth of the individual or the group that's being persecuted is silenced that they're not heard and when i say that folks i also want to acknowledge that perpetuating a cycle of victimhood or, or a, a position of persecution um, can sometimes keep things stuck, okay? So rather than feeling like we need to honor ancestors or belief systems that are still suffering or that in some ways that suffering is a, a, a way to hold on to the memory, um, I'm going to invite that to switch up. Okay, that rather than hanging out in victimhood, those experiences can transform into survivorship. Okay, that's, that's a word. <laughs> We're going to make it a word. Whew. Whew. You guys are doing great. Just keep breathing. There's a whole bunch of moving around in the head around that one. Whew. And folks, anywhere that you're having information show up for you or flashes or awareness, um, it's rather gory, but the, the experience of decapitation shows up. <sighs> so anywhere that you or your ancestors or your experiences of past lives have lost their head energetically or cognitively let's make space for that to come back together and that there is nothing that is beyond the capacity to come back into wholeness. Whew. Folks, there's a lot coming up here. So if you're noticing some emotion coming to the surface sort of out of nowhere, I'm just going to invite you to breathe and go with it. Okay, there's a lot here. Whew. Okay, that's sounding and feeling a lot better. What we're going to do here is we're going to drop this into the middle. So it's almost as I said, as we're working these four directions, we're inviting the experience of coherence and wholeness into this intention.
So anywhere that you have the experience in your lineage, in any past lives, in your current life, where parts of you energetically or your actual physical anatomy has been compromised, fragmented, traumatized, let's make space for that to come back. There you go. So I was noticing I could hear some sound over there and there's a flock of wild turkeys. Now I can see what's going on. So the turkeys are grazing over there. Maybe they're getting a little tuning in too. Folks, you're doing great. We're going to move on over to the south side here. Oof. Oof. Okay. I mean, the first thing that came up was the, the uh, fire. That's kind of can be associated with um, this southern direction. But uh, anywhere that you're connected to through lineage or past lives that fire destruction has been included in the persecution process where the space that was experienced as home or sanctuary was compromised Whew. anywhere that fire has been part of the picture of persecution. And what comes to mind is all there was left was ashes. Pretty heavy, folks. Um, so let's move in here with a 528 and a crystal. And let's make some space over here, okay? That's a, that's a real rough one. And um, something that shows up here is that when we have ancestors that were not um, that their departure process was not properly acknowledged or addressed in the way that it needed to um, that may be an opportunity for ancestral healing that might be really important so in a very broad way not super specific with anyone specific but let's just kind of make space for the appropriate Mm, ceremonies, rituals to occur in some capacity to allow those that were not able to move over in grace or properly to do so. Okay, I'm just going to open this up very generally. We're not getting in the nitty gritty right now, but let's just make space for that potential to resolve. <laughs> that feeling of the ancestors that had crossed over well they didn't really cross over right they're hanging out asking for help asking for that acknowledgement there we go <sighs> folks you're doing great just keep breathing wow that really shifted And I'm going to actually use this 528 right on this piece of tourmaline to make some more space, particularly if there were stories around the persecution for whatever reason, maybe if they were in the same 
religious or spiritual path that said you're not allowed to come over to the other side for whatever reason. Okay, let's make some space that um, there's actually peace or the potential for a little bit more cooperation uh, collectively for those ancestors to cross over. Everyone, take a nice big deep breath. And as you're listening to this, feel free to make some noise too, okay? If you need to do that. There we go. Because the those uh, expressions of suffering don't need to echo in your field okay sometimes that means you're just the most available within your lineage to support um, the transition of your ancestors Whew. Whew. Folks, you're doing so well. Just want to acknowledge that you're showing up to listen to this. This is this is pretty heavy stuff. So I appreciate your willingness to come around, come along the ride. Nice. So we're gonna drop this in, okay? Kind of notice a shift in the eyes around this so just to acknowledge that showing up for this process may you know support a shift in your physiology on an energetic level and it makes me think about viewing things through that lens or through a lens of uh, victimhood and persecution There we go. Whew, okay. <sighs> Folks, if you need to move around <laughs> and shake it off, shake it out, do that, okay? This is this is this is some good heavy stuff, okay? So let's see what's going on, on the west side here. Wow. Okay. Whew. This uh, over here, first impression is this feels like imprisonment. Okay. And you can um, interpret or apply that to any context you want. To your, you feel appropriate and there are plenty that you could um, associate with the experience of persecution and imprisonment. Okay. And as we work with this in this session, I also want to acknowledge that there's the potential for these experiences to go either way. So 
we both may have had the experience of the persecuted and the persecutor in some context or another, okay? So, to just to acknowledge that, that, that there's a two-way street here, okay? That that shame, blame, guilt game um, can flip roles. And it depends on where we visit, when we visit, uh, a timeline or a lineage around that, okay? I'm, I'm not going for who's wrong or who's right here. But what we are going for is... Let's release the suffering of this. Because this is a pattern. Okay? Yeah, there's a frozen, locked-up quality here. So what we're going to do is use a, a 144 and an 89 together on our stone to loosen this up. Okay, because I wouldn't like to invite the potential for everyone to be liberated and free and supported. I love these wild turkeys. And folks, anywhere that memory of persecution has been locked up in your body, especially around the ankles, the wrists, the throat, head the pelvis anywhere just become aware of where you're if you're feeling that at all or if you notice or aware that those memories or patterns are still showing up and what i'm also noticing in the here is that there's also a feeling of being locked in locked up in the head maybe around thought patterns or beliefs so anywhere that you're meeting yourself as a persecuted individual or group or anything like that let, let, let's hand yourself and your ancestors in any past lives you've had, let's hand yourselves the key, the keys to unlock that. Just gonna invite everyone to notice what's going on where your thoughts are, what are you noticing in your body? <sighs> okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop this in. Folks, if you have some water around or you need to get some, please do that. I'm going to have a sip. Okay. <laughs> That's one of the ways that we get things moving. Not only is it a conduit for the vibration energetically with the forks, but it's also a great way to invite some flow in your physiology to let all that move. 
Hi, turkeys. Whew, folks, you're doing great. One more stop. Okay, this is the north side. Whoa. Okay. This is rough. All right. When I tune and my shoulders go up like that, it means there's some something extra funky over here, okay? There's some major distortion here, okay? All right, so... To me, there's an element of persecution where it can be leveraged by large groups, political organizations, religious organizations, all kinds, right? Financial, where there's a construct that's built up to persecute a specific group, groups, etc., right? Those motivations are um, not great and not supportive and might be part of the process of learning collectively, but um, may not, you know, be coming from a great place of love. So um, what I'm going to do here is to make some space for that to unwind and unravel uh, so that the sovereignty of our own species can sort of reemerge, if you will. And, um, yeah, any kind of distortion or manipulation around that power dynamic can shift, okay? It's like the this awareness that individually and collectively our emotions have great power, right? And so if those can be directed, altered, shifted, manipulated, that's a lot of power. And so to kind of make space for that to uh, uncouple um and be more sovereign and cooperative and unify versus divide okay because i really would invite everyone to be open to living in a world where humans get along and we cooperate and we're lifting each other up I invite everyone to notice what, what's showing up for them. I felt a ton of movement in the head. And what I'm noticing here is that there's an opening showing up between the head and the heart. And so much of the challenge that I feel like we experience on our planet has to do with that disconnection. Okay. Great, folks. Ooh, I'm going to use a 144 hertz 
just to reorganize this a wee bit more, okay? <laughs> and um, what comes to mind is that feeling of um, like being clear when you break something up that you're not happy with and then it kind of hangs out kind of in a mess because you're not sure uh, how to rebuild it or restructure it. So let's give some extra energy here to restructure our sense of cooperation and unity after potentially a very well some very long chapters of separation and to allow for the natural world to inform that organization right notice how the leaves grow Notice the patterns that show up in nature and notice that we're part of that network of organization. And it makes me think of the, the mycelii, the, the fungus in, under the ground generates this network of connection between the trees. It's, it's like they're already talking without technology right it's a it's a it's a biological i don't even want to call it technology but it's, it's a biological mechanism there we go and it makes me think of the way that we were our morphogenic field right that that network of communication that is informed by the magnetic field um magnetite is an element that is in our pineal gland right and it's also one of the ways that that morphogenic field that collective field of awareness connects us and so any kind of distortion that's hung out in that space let's see if we can allow that to or invite that or honor that process of evolution there we go okay folks we're gonna drop this in what a ride this has been huh <laughs> you, you all are such troopers for showing up so thank you for making it this far we're almost there I mean, this, this, uh, this topic is so intense, folks, that if there's some of you that have just been, like, weeping the entire time, I just want to witness for you, that's okay. It's okay. You're okay. There's tons of stuff to unwind. Okay. And, and, and these, um, these patterns of persecution are really deep. Okay, they're really deep. <sighs> All right, so we're going to use, uh, I'm going to go back to this 89 and 144. Let's make some more space in your body to, uh, or our collective and individual bodies to make some space for a new story. <sighs> because what I'm noticing here is the feeling of the physical expression 
of these patterns really locked in and let's make some space for forgiveness and release to show up okay anywhere that there's been a benefit running for the story of suffering or replaying persecution let's unwind that okay Woo! there you go Great job, everybody. There you go. Oh, there's a nice breeze coming in. It's beautiful. Wonderful, folks. We're going to get all this integrated. You did so well, all of you, for showing up. I'm going to use a 144. We're going to get this all integrated because that was a lot that was all over. So we're going to go from north to south. Three times. And now we're going to go east to west. We're going to connect this energy up to source where the energy and creation of anything, everything comes from, everything and anything. Give that a few more passes just to get that flow moving and grooving. There we go. Nice. And now we're going to strike the fork one more time back to get everyone nice and grounded in their body. I want to acknowledge all of the energy that may have showed up for you personally and collectively from this session or for this session, ancestors, guides, Everybody that may have showed up for you, and with a lot of love and gratitude, I'm going to invite them to hang out with you to the degree that everyone's um, supportive and consensual in that relationship. Anything that's, uh, that we stirred up that's hanging out in the collective field, um, I'm going to invite that to come back to neutral because we don't need anything hanging out um, in anybody's field that feels really rough or... Um, uh, gnarly to deal with okay we want to we want to bring things back to neutral not to say you may not process this later uh which is good just keep sure make sure that you're drinking lots of water and things like that okay so let's let's seal up this session and bring everybody back into their body okay Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for um, coming along for the ride on this one and for showing up to support this process. I love generating these videos. They take a, a little bit of time and effort and contemplation on my part to do that, but um, I'm really grateful you showed up. Um, please uh, subscribe if you're up for it. And um, Take great care of yourselves, folks. Um, I'm really honored that you take the time to um, check this out and connect with the collective to support our process. So thank you.